Hey guys, welcome to Super Awesome Style. This is Prashi, and today I'm going to talk about all those painful things that I regret buying. Actually, technically, I did not buy a lot of these things. I'm just saying a tag, you know, which is things I regret buying because that's the tag. Uh, most of these things, actually, you know what? I think all of what? <laughs> okay, there's this one product which I actually bought, and the rest of the things I discovered because of PR packages, subscription boxes. Or uh, these things have been gifted to me by people whose names or anything I don't want to mention because it's not right. But seriously, I got a fake matte lipstick for a gift. I mean, why would anybody, why would anybody do that, right? This is a fake matte lipstick, which basically you can tell because of the sticker at the back, which says zero one. Now, uh, matte lipsticks are in fact I think for pretty much all high-end brand. Um, beauty products lipsticks lipsticks especially uh they don't come with a number they i mean they have a number usually but they also have a name okay so uh, like in case of mac you will know there are lots of lipsticks with you know names which are like really famous my favorite being ruby woo so uh when a lipstick comes the sticker like that you just know that it's a fake one and then of course you know the packaging and all uh the original mac packaging is it is a little bit more black you know a little darker shade of black with this higher shine uh next i'm going to talk about a product guys which uh, okay i'll be very honest with you okay i might have recommended this product way back in the past on my channel i'm not sure or maybe i think recently also i'm not sure okay because there is a product which i have used for a few times myself and that is the lakme kajal now guys i like lakme and i like lakme kajals also i love the brand i'm not trying to put anybody down over here by this video and this product might also work for you but my only problem with this uh, lakme kajal guys by the way it was extremely affordable i think you can get this for uh, okay i can't find the price i'll just write the price in the video so um the thing with this only problem with this lakme kajal guys is that it smudges a crazy amount you know it really smudges a lot so it's a black kajal it's an extremely affordable kajal and it's a it's otherwise a pretty good kajal you know uh, a good brand and safe on the eyes and all but it smudges like nobody's business and that for me is a big problem because i'm just somebody you know who keeps touching her face all the time shouldn't be doing that but yeah i am one of those people <laughs> so uh, and of course if you sweat a lot or things like that then obviously you don't want to wear a kajal which smudges at all so this one actually smudges a lot so that was a lack make kajal uh another product that i want to talk about which i initially used to like i bought for like two or three times and then after a while i was like oh damn it i can't believe <laughs> you know i didn't notice this before that is this eyeliner from cal cal now this one again i discovered because of subscription boxes the lakme kajal by the way i bought with my own money so yeah that was a product which i bought with my own money the only product today uh next is this cal cal eyeliner which i discovered because of a beauty box and um I'll tell you both the pros and cons okay the thing with this eyeliner number 1 it's really nice and black and number 2 it really really lasts okay it really lasts so you apply it today like if i apply it in the morning it will stay well into the night and then if i don't take off my makeup it will stay till the morning also a little bit but the con is that this eyeliner is impossible to remove like uh, I don't know. I think the first two or three times when I wore this eyeliner, I didn't really bother much about removing it because half the time, you know, it's like I'm moving from one video to another. So I apply the eyeliner, then I'm doing another video, and by the time it's night, I'm so sleepy, I don't even remove my makeup. Then next morning again, I'm putting on my eyeliner because I have to finish filming early morning. So I don't know. I don't really realize it sometimes. But anyway, so I'm trying to keep this very very short now. This cal eyeliner is a nightmare to remove. The one time I tried actually removing it after which I stopped using it was it. literally made my eyelids all red and i had a little bit of the eyeliner going inside my eyes it was like what's happening again not going against the brand guys and this is just my opinion you might like this product you might like this brand i like cal as a brand otherwise quite a lot just this eyeliner was not exactly my favorite also guys we have these two patanjali shampoos now there are a couple of things i want to mention over here number 1 i know a lot of people love patanjali shampoos 
they just never work for me for some reason they just don't suit me so you might like it uh, it didn't work for me so I'm just sharing my own experience plus uh, I still think that some Patanjali products are really good but then off late it has been found out that a lot of Patanjali products have a massive amount of chemicals so uh, I, I don't know how much to trust this brand anymore although I still like some of the products which I still use uh, overall not a good buy plus the back packaging was very very bad like although I was very very excited to try these out you know because the ingredients mentioned over here but they didn't work for me they gave me a massive hair fall uh, then I have with me the nail polish from E Essence color and go nail polish again the same problem guys I hate the color there's barely any color you can't even use it as a you know clear nail polish you can't you can't do anything with it I don't like the shade the shade that I have with me is number is here the shade number is 104 sweet as candy and that's such a nice name for nail polish but no it didn't uh, look good at all because it barely has any color and also the problem with this nail polish again is that it does not last uh, barely one and a half day and it started to chip like really crazy so yeah uh, next I have with me a product which I got in a PR package and uh, they wanted me to do a video on this and after trying out this product I was like you've got to be kidding me this product is so bad so bad so bad I almost ended up fighting with the company in the end you know because I just hated the product so anyways uh, there's a good chance that more, a lot of my viewers have not really tried it because it's uh, not a very well-known brand and it's US based and this brand is called Star Lux Cosmetics okay so uh, up front this product looks really really nice you know because it's a small a small product very tiny packaging very pocket friendly now this is basically a, a liquid lipstick slash lip gloss and it smudges like anything you apply it on your lips it has a nice chocolatey fragrance and then you know in five minutes it's like all over your face all over your lips and you hate it so much so definitely not something that you should ever ever try out if you ever come across star looks cosmetics lip gloss lip balm i think I, I don't know about lip balm but yeah lipstick slash lip gloss a liquid one especially I think you should run away from it at least that would be my opinion okay and uh, next sorry I was just looking at my hair next and the final product of the day is going to be this product which I have actually reviewed in great detail on my channel like I have made an entire video on it now this is a premier prestige miracle neon face mask and uh, this mask when I saw it on the official website uh, they sell it for rupees 25,000 and uh, a lot of my viewers later on came and told me that it's available at 5,000, 6,000 on Amazon, eBay, I don't know a lot of other websites. So prices might be different at different places but I'll just go with what it says on the official website because you know fake products are being sold everywhere these days. <laughs> So originally the price of this converted to Indian rupees is 25,000 rupees plus not even less than 25,000 it's 25,000 rupees that's the official price and uh, I hate this face mask guys because number one it does nothing to your skin number two it takes an enormous amount of time to apply and, and even more time to remove because if you see the video I'll put the link in the description box below there's a very special technique you know of using magnet and removing it and it's horrible so uh yes guys those are the products that i hate products that i regret buying slash getting having around i guess i'll probably do a video on full face of makeup doing you know using products that i hate i don't know i think that'd be fun and sorry there's just something flying it just looked like a string of thread and uh yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching guys let me know in the comment section below if you've tried any of these things out for yourself what your uh, you know experience has been like if and if you like them please feel free to talk about it as well you know i mean i would love for my viewers to know all kinds of opinions not just mine so if you like if you don't agree with my opinion please feel free to share comments in the comment section below and yes now i'm done thank you so much for watching guys this is me prachi signing off now bye